Yo. And welcome to another Synfig tutorial. And today we will be creating a cog. So this is what a cog looks like. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So here in Synfig, um, I'm going to select the start tool here. And in the layer type, I'm going to be working with the outline layer. You could um, work with the region layer, but I'm going to work with the outline um, just to keep things a bit clearer. And then we'll switch to the re then we'll create the region layer from the outline after we're done. OK, so in the star points, make sure that you have a value of 40. Um, you can start with less, but for the sake of this tutorial, just um, start with 40. And I'm going to left click and drag here to create all these points on my star. And I'm going to select my select tool. I'm going to select all of these points on the inside here. So I'm just left click and drag to select all those points. And I'm going to press the L key on the keyboard or just go here to select the scale tool because the L, L is a shortcut key for scale. OK, and I'm just going to left click and drag these out. To somewhere maybe maybe here okay all right so I'm going to left click anywhere outside of that to this de deselect and I'm going to select the outline layer once more and now what I want to do is using my select tool I am going to select every other point on the outside here so for example if I start here I want to skip one of these points hold on shift and select the point um, that is next to the opposing point. So skip a point, select the other one. S skip a point, select the other one, okay? So I'm just gonna do that and go all the way around. And because we're working with 40 points, this will take some time, but just be patient. And we are almost done here and voila. Then I'm going to press L on my keyboard again, which is again, the shortcut for scale. I'm just going to left click and drag these in. And when we meet the other points here on the inside, uh, just look all the way around to see that they, they are straight or somewhat straight. And then you just release your mouse. So let me just take a look at that by um, deselecting there. And we can see that that creates a nice dent, indent here. Okay, so let me go back to my outline layer. And using the select tool again, now what we want to do here is we want to select either the f within the the center here, within the middle points here. Well, not the middle points, within the points that are on the inside here. We want to select either the first point or the, la the last point. So it doesn't matter where you start. Um, so, but if you select the first point here and you go to the next one, make sure you select the first point also okay so you'll be selecting all the first points going all the way around um, if you select the last point you will select the last point going all the way around so i'm going to demonstrate this by just selecting the last point here hold down my shift key or the control key and i'm going to select the last point here the last point here and i'm just going to go all the way around selecting the last points like so and again, this will take some time because of the amount of points that we have. And uh, I just accidentally shift everything. So I'm going to control Z, right? You, um, depending on how you select them, you might um, accidentally shift it. So just pay close attention to what you're doing. So I just un undid that. So let me hold on shift again, select this, select this. And if I'm looking correctly, we have selected all of the all of the points that we need all right so let me just select the scale tool here and now i'm going to scale these outward and when you scale them out try not to go too far out right just make sure that you move your eyes all the way around the entire thing to see that all the points are straight or somewhat straight on the outside like so and then i think i'm gonna go in here a bit and then just release the left mouse button and uh, when we click off we see now that we have our cog okay now if there are any points that are not too lining up you can always go in select, select them individually and straighten them out okay 
All right, so now with that done, I'm just going to right click and select make region. And then I'm going to delete my outline because I don't need that. And I'm going to put this in a group. And within this group, I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to be using this layer type here, uh, the circle layer type. But it doesn't matter. You can use a region or this one. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go with this first one here. I'm just going to left click and drag. And uh, let me just change the color of that so that we can differentiate it from the outside of the cog. I'm going to place this on the inside here scale it down a bit because what we want to do is create um, a, a hole in the center here so let's just eyeball it and see where the center is it might not be the exact center but um, just try to get it as close as possible to the center all right so I'm gonna move this over to the left a bit more and uh, okay I'm gonna work with that so let me just let this and Go to composite in the properties and i'm going to select alpha over and now we have a hole in the cog so if i turn off my background layer we can see the cog is now complete let me turn that back on and the last thing that i want to do is i want to um i want to move this point to the center of the cog so if i select the circle and i hold on control and select the group we can see all the points together and i'm just going to left click this transparent point here and move it up zoom in and I'm going to move this down just zoom all the way in and then I'm just going to place this over this point here I mean we can we can turn on the um, the snap tool here so that it snaps to it like so let me turn back off the snap tool and zoom out so now with that done we can use the group layer to rotate this um properly all right and that's how you create a cog and of course we can duplicate this move it over scale it down to various sizes and animate them okay so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one yo yo kemari, yo, kemari.